Hi guys, welcome back to another video and today we are back. It, we have been gone for a couple of days, um, but yeah, I've been very busy. I uh, couldn't pop out a video for you guys, but we're back and we're doing another gun review. Uh, so obviously I haven't bought the MP155. I just jumped to the Nova because it, it was a better deal. Uh, it provided much more damage uh, and otherwise it's the exact same the damage difference is immense though so i skipped over the 155 and jumped straight to the nova if you have the money and the levels i would recommend buying the nova over the 155 but for those of you guys who don't have the money yet um or the levels and you decided to buy this gun before uh the nova uh let's do a quick review for you guys so let's buy this gun really quickly, uh, use it, and for first off, we have the regular shotgun, pump shotgun, um, with wood grain and black metal. We also have the camo skin, uh, obviously pretty similar, the metal is just camo and the wood still remains. Then we have this lightning purple one, um, which is pretty nice, pretty flashy. Um, but yeah, I guess we're gonna use that one and I do not have this kaboom red and white uh, Looks like Santa uh, skin, but yeah, I don't have that one. So uh, Don't and aren't really looking forward to getting it um, just because it's not a gun. I use all that or I don't think I'll use all that often just because The Nova has so much more damage as I already said, but yeah, let's get right into it. We have the sights we have a holographic scope we got a uh four times scope the other two scopes i feel like i'm gonna fuck that name up so i'm not gonna say it uh then moving on to the trunks we have suppressor number four compensator number two and silencer number one um and yeah these pretty much up stats uh accuracy and damage i never up the accuracy for my shotguns just because their accuracy is super high and upping their accuracy really won't help all that much just because they are super close range weapons so uh if you are planning to buy a trunk for this weapon i would recommend buying a silencer don't have the money for it right now um but yeah hopefully in the near future not sure if i'm gonna upgrade it or not uh i have the flashlight i think i want it um in a mods case pretty sure uh because i don't remember buying it and then we do not have a speed clip for a shotgun uh just because there is no clip on the shotgun you gotta load one um shotgun shell per time i guess um but yeah uh it is equipped uh let's go test it out so yeah guys um things have been crazy lately um i'm in between like college and work and really have no time so i'm sorry that i haven't uploaded recently um but i will try to keep putting out videos for you guys very soon um yeah there we go one hit kill at close range super good uh at close range obviously if you're standing right next to another person you should get a one hit kill quite easily since it does have damage of 160 uh like most shotguns very high in damage um it is as fast as the nova uh nova i believe is at 114 uh, with the flashlight or 214 with the flashlight so as i said nova is a much stronger gun uh than this gun but this one is not bad either um other than that speed is the same um i believe bullets uh clip size is quite similar as well accuracy is very similar uh all those things are very similar the nova is just a bit stronger so yeah this shotgun is pretty good uh not the fastest shotgun obviously um, but it will do you like it will get you good kills uh i believe its fire rate is 0.7 um which is pretty fair um if you are at close range you should get a one hit kill regardless if you don't you should be able to pump another uh bullet out before you die i feel like um so it shouldn't be super tough um to get cl kills at close range obviously it goes without saying that this map is not the best 
um, for close range weapons just because you could see a opponent coming from like a mile away. But still getting decent kills. I believe we got two right there. Um, and would I use this gun on a daily basis? Not with the guns I already have. Uh, I have the Nova, I have the Striker, I have the, um, what's the other one? Sega. Uh, so I have all these shotguns that are ranked higher, quicker, stronger. So I wouldn't personally see myself using this, but this can be an amazing gun for a lower level individual. And I would recommend you use it because it's faring pretty well. Um, mostly gets one hit kills if you're at close range. If you're at farther ranges, um, it does um take a couple more rounds i do happen to know that the shotgun does shoot farther than most other guns uh so if you're looking for distance uh i would definitely go with this shotgun um uh if you do like shotguns that you know uh spray but don't like shoot that wide um so the shotgun pellets do carry farther distances closer together this uh, map is pretty boring. We got one opponent apparently who we keep killing. Um, but let's see. Whoa, he got me there. Mine didn't even see it. Obviously, I didn't see it or I wouldn't have stepped on it. Yeah. But yeah, guys, this is the review for the mp155 or mp155 um what i recommend buying it if you are a lower level player and you want a shotgun that gets one hit kills obviously i would recommend buying this gun um if you want a shotgun that is more longer range than the other shotguns would also recommend buying this gun uh completely modded i feel like the shotgun could perform amazingly even with the only a flashlight on uh it does perform pretty well as you can see one hit kills at decent range um but yeah other than that um that is the video thank you guys so much for watching uh i hope you found this informational or helpful if you did hit that thumbs up button if you like this type of content in general hit that subscribe button or uh, or hit that subscribe button as well as the post notification bell to keep updated on everything kaboom um, but other than that, I will let you go. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have an, an amazing day.